Hey guys, this is Raiki the Storm. Welcome to my very first Let's Play, Lost Kingdoms for the Nintendo GameCube. I believe to be the first RPG to ever be released on the Nintendo GameCube. So this is a really, really old game, actually. Um, I've already recorded this kind of once, but then uh, my friend got dazzled in like, some better recording fo footage than the stupid camera I was using. So I decided, why not? Let's start over. And um, I'm not sure how good my commentary is going to be, but... Um, I might as well give it a try. Oh, damn it! It went back to the... Okay, anyway, let's press start. Uh, let's go... New game. Uh, default name is Katia, and just for LP's sake, I'm probably just gonna keep it as is. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Make her name Katia. Done. Yes, name her Katia. <laughs> let's see if I can still read this. I have to go pretty fast. The disappearance of a small forest was the first sign of the approaching evil. One morning, villagers awoke to find a solid wall of fog where their forest should have been. Some men, braver than others, ventured into the pitch black mist. They were never heard from again. The next day, the lake disappeared into the swirling mists. It was not long before the impenetrable mists enshrouded the village itself in perpetual darkness. Where once there was had been life, now there was nothing but an impenetrable, impenetrable mist that turned day into night. By ancient covenant, the rulers of the five kingdoms banned all interaction between their nations. Now the five kings abandoned their isolation and met to look for a solution. Sadly, none could uh, offer a plan to defeat the fog. Terrifying rumors spread throughout the la land. Some whispered tales of ageless evil awakened. Stupid watermark. Um. Anyway, loading screen. Uh, about the loading screen, you can mess with the control stick and you can move the board now loading around. <laughs> Give you something to do about loading. I'm probably going to be cutting loading screens after this, though. Princess Katya, our worst, worst fears have come true. Here's our main character. The Black Fog is at the gates of the castle. New! No. Uh, Katya, the Black Fog must be stopped. We will not be safe here forever. I would not leave you here alone, but a king's first duty is to his people. You will understand someday. If the castle is attacked, find the runestone and flee. Guard it with your life, Dasha. That's uh, Katya remembering the words of her father. And here we are. We finally have control. Uh, controls are really simple. Control stick to move. Which, well, I don't know a GameCube game where that's not the case. Uh, when you A is to confirm things, check things. C stick rot rotates the camera. Uh, when you see it, Red exclamation point over your head, you can press A and obviously talk or examine or something. Yeah. Uh, to explain the screen, the top left corner is your HP and your magic. You start with 50 HP and no magic. Uh, top right actually gives you a mini map. Uh, not much else to be said here. Uh, start will open the menu. There isn't much you can do in the menu yet. Go this way first. And uh, from here... Really, first level, not really a tutorial, but it's really simple. Uh, let's try going this way. I'm afraid I cannot let you pass, your highness. It is too dangerous outside. Well, you know what? I'm the princess. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I want... Sorry, uh, yeah, sure. Shut up. I'll kill you later. Uh, so basically... Oh, gee, I wonder where it's left to go. Let's go this way. Why? Because there's nowhere else to go. Huh. Let's open this door. Um. Okay. Well, this is the treasure chest in the opening. Let's open it and see what's inside. Oh my god, it's a thing! It's a red thingy stone thing that looks really cool. Uh, attaches to her hair. And, oh my god, monsters! Attacking the skeletons! No! <laughs> uh, stay away from me. I mean, heck, who wouldn't be scared of two skeletons that just show up out of nowhere? Guardian of the Sacred Covenant, the power of the card flows in your blood. Uh, I couldn't read the rest of the sentence. Whatever. And, card, summon it. I summon the Birdman. No, I'm not killing, kidding you, that thing's called the Birdman. And stab it to death. And you're in your first battle. I'm going to use the con see. controls. are very simple, really. Once you're in battle, uh, you can see that uh, 
each card in your hand, which is the bottom right here, uh, co corresponds with a button, A, B, X, and Y. Uh, to get this first level over with though, what you're gonna want to do is kind of get close, wait for it to attack, wait for it to be wide open, and press, well, activate this card, the Lycanthrope. Summon the Lycanthrope, and swing for a one-shot kill. That's pretty much all you have to do in this first fight. Not that difficult. Uh, these stones I just picked up are called Magic Stones. They replenish your uh, magic magic power on the top left of the screen. Um, they, the larger ones recover more. Uh, any extras you collect, go to the, go to EXP for the rest of your cards. Um, I'll explain EXP a little later in the game, but uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, now that I've done that, we want to go this way. Back out the door. And on your way back, you find a weird old woman with a horseshoe thing on her back. Oh, you can still rotate the camera. Cool. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Did you get the gods? Good. Then let's be off. If this rape voice is going to get annoying, well, too bad. For now, at least. You're not exactly the most fearsome warrior in the kingdom. I don't suppose you have a burly brother stashed away somewhere. So be it. Even the ugliest oyster may contain a beautiful pearl. What's trying to say there, huh? 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 Although you look more like the pearl than the oyster. Thank you very much. I take that as a compliment. Who am I, you ask? Yeah, I mean, seriously, how did an old woman get in here in the first place? I mean, these guards are everywhere, and they just let this random old woman show up. I mean, seriously. Uh -huh. I am the only person that can teach you how to use those cards you found in the treasury. Really? Can't I just look on, on you know... Yu-Gi-Oh card.com or like read the rule book that came with the starter deck. Oh wait, wrong cards! <laughs> You'd better come with me if you want to stay alive. Is that a threat? Is that a threat? Come now, my cute little guardian of the covenant. You just leave everything up to old good. Why does that sound like rape? <laughs> Battles one, monster defeated one, damage suffered zero, cards used one. Five star rating. At the end of every level, you'll get a Five star rate rating out of five, and depending on that, it you can choose from a different number of cards. I'm gonna do what I always do: take this one, this one, and this one. Uh, and I completely miss out on a fairy. Um, anyway, I got a birdman, a skeleton, and another birdman, which isn't bad. I would have preferred to have gotten a fairy, but oh well. <clears throat> Princess Katya of Alanta has defeated the monsters that threatened the castle. Her victory provides little relief, despite all attempts to stem, of, stem the tide of mist. More areas fall victim to the black fog each day. No one knows where it comes from, or why it has appeared. Unless the secret of the black fog can be unlocked, the entire world will fall into darkness. Entrusting your defense of the castle to her knights, the princess sets forth on a quest to save the world. Her only companion on the journey is the mysterious old crone Gerd. And explains, explains the deck real quick. Uh, well, that about does it for this first episode. Um, sorry about that cut. Um, anyway, that about does it for the first episode. Next time on Let's Play Lost Kingdoms, uh, we tackle the first level, the Plains of Row Wall, well, the first real level. Uh, well, not even. Uh, it's a tutorial level. Anyway, next time, I will show you that. But first things first, I might as well show you something else, too. If you press start, start, you can open the menu. Here you can adjust your deck, edit deck. You can add cards by pressing A on it, or... Take cards out by pressing A on them over here. I'm not going to take anything out yet. Um, I'm just, it's a good idea to have just put just whatever you have in at this point. But um, the maximum number of cards you can have in a deck is 30. Uh, right now you can only have a total maximum of 15 cards at this point. Because if you got a 5 star rating, you would have picked up 3 cards at the end of the level. If you got 3 or 4, you would have gotten 2. And if you got anything worse than that, you would have gotten 1 card. And uh, so, and your star deck is 12, so yeah. Anyway, that's adjusting your deck. You can actually uh, make multiple decks. I don't see a reason to do this, really. Uh, you can also rename your deck, which I think I will do. Barely fits. Let's go, Bardish. Yes, sir. That's ma'am. Anyway, uh, name this deck Bardish. Yes. Um, anyway, that's about all I can tell you about. Inventory gives you, gives you a list of all the cards you have. Uh, system as well. Options. Saving included. Exit game while is exiting the game. So, uh, anyway, next time on Let's Play Lost Kingdoms, like I said earlier, we will enter the Plains of Our Wall. I will see you guys then. Okay, now for the other part of this LP. Something I will be doing after every level is this, uh, bleh, thingy. Card bios. 
of all the new cards I've gotten in the level. I will explain that. Uh, first of all, I will be going over all the cards in the starter deck as well as the cards I picked up at the end of the first level. So, uh, first off is the skeleton. Skeleton, I should explain something a little first. Uh, there are three types of cards. There's weapons, summons, and independence. A summons is like the lycanthrope I used. It comes out, does one thing, and goes away for the rest of the level. Weapons cards are similar, but uh, they have multiple uses, but not as powerful. And they usually aren't just flashy. Um, <laughs> uh, I personally like weapons cards a lot. And the last card is independence. Independents are kind of like party members. They roam around the battlefield and, well, attack or help you with other things. So, yeah, consider that when you're building a deck. Anyway, this first card is the Skeleton. The Skeleton is an in Earth Attribute Independent. I'll get into attributes when they actually matter. Um, well, it's an Earth Attribute Independent. 31 HP, 18 Defense. Um, it's relatively fast. It's an Independent. It fights on its own. It's the enemies we fought in the first level, actually. Um, anyway, it's an okay card. Relatively fast. Not that strong. At the very beginning of the game, it's really pretty good. Next card is one of my personal favorites, the Lizard Man. Lizard Man is a weapons type creature that can be used three times, has pretty decent range, and pretty pretty decent power, so um, you'll be using this card throughout a good amount of the game, actually. Um, yeah. Next card here is the Man Trap. Man Trap is another independent creature like the Skeleton, but this one's a wood attribute. It's pretty slow. But at this point of the game, it's actually not very bad. It gets outclassed by better wood creatures later, but still, it's not a bad card at all. It can take a few hits. It does some decent damage with its attack. Um, it's an okay card. Uh, next card here is the Fairy. The Fairy is a water attribute card and is a summons. Like the Lycanthrope, comes out, does one thing, and uh, disappears for the rest of the level. Um, but this one doesn't attack. What it does is it heals half your HP. So, it is a very good card to take with you to every level. I'm going to say that now. Because all the power in the world won't save you if you die. So, yeah. You want to carry your fairies with you everywhere. At least at this point in the game, until you get better hearing healing cards. Next card here is the Lycanthrope. Uh, you saw this in action in the first episode. In the first fight, really. Um, it's a pretty good card. 30 power, wood summons... It does some really good damage for this point in the game. It's pretty much a staple. Next card up is the Dark Raven. Dark Raven is a fire attribute weapons card. Um, it's actually very weak in power, but has really good range. I mean, you could really so hit enemies from far away with this card. It gets outclassed by better cards like all the rest of the cards in the starter deck. Next card is the Birdman. Birdman is something you saw in the intro. It's a summons like the Lycanthrope. Less power, only 24. It's decent. Okay. Next card here is the Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight is a water attribute weapons card. And it could only be used twice, but heck. Look at the power of this thing. 28. While the Lycan Throat being a summons had 30, this thing has a power of 28 as a weapons. In other words, it can be used multiple times and it's almost as strong as a summons. This thing is pretty devastating. It's kind of slow. But it's something you're probably going to be using until the end of the game. I'm not kidding you, this thing is pretty broken. 